Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. They have a pair of guest artists visiting Troy University's campus, uh, Julia Dollison and Carrie Marsh, vocal jazz uh, musicians here to uh, talk with some Troy University students and some area high school students about vocal jazz. And we'll get more into that in a little bit. But first off, uh, give us a little bit of background about yourselves and, and a little bit about what vocal jazz is all about and how you got involved with that. Absolutely. Well, um, I uh, am currently the director of uh, vocal jazz ensembles at University of Northern Colorado, and uh, where uh, Julia will actually start teaching uh, with me as well in the fall of 2015. Um, and uh, so we um, we regularly go around and. Um, clinic folks on uh, vocal jazz music, which is essentially what we're doing uh, here in the next couple of days. Um, you know, we've, we both have backgrounds in vocal jazz for the past 20 or so years. Um, it really encompasses uh, the music of, say, groups like the Singers Unlimited and New York Voices and the Real Group and Take Six. Uh, we're two of the members of a professional vocal jazz group called the Vertical Voices. Uh, that travels around uh, and performs once in a while as, as well. And uh, I'm an arranger, uh, as Julia is an arranger as well. Um, but I write a lot of music for vocal jazz ensembles and uh, publish that music at my website, which is carrymarsh.com. And uh, so uh, uh, Dr. Arlovsky uh, has programmed some of our music with her ensembles for a little while, and that's how she came, I think, to know uh, us and in our music and we came out a couple years ago and did some clinics with uh, Frequency which is a really great group you guys have here and um, we're just we're just really really happy to to be back um, and, and Julia um, went to the University of Miami um, and, and, and studied uh, all of her vocal jazz out there I don't know if you want to talk about your background sure. as well. <laughs> well it's great to be here Frequency is just reliably great every time we hear them and hear about them. And we're very honored that they're performing our music and that we get to work with them. Uh, yeah, my background is uh, vocal jazz major, both degrees at University of Miami, undergrad and grad. And then on the faculty, uh, lived in New York City for a while. And then we met at a jazz conference where uh, we'd been individually going for years and our friends said, hey, you two should <laughs> hook up and <laughs> collaborate, and we did that, and, and then some. Mm -hmm. uh, my specialty is, uh, while Carrie is great with uh, directing vocal jazz ensembles, my specialty is uh, solo jazz voice. So I teach the private lessons, oh. and I'll be uh, listening for some of your star soloists in the group. <laughs> Try to pull somebody out and, 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 and work right. a little bit with them individually. Now let's talk about working with the students. So you're, uh, you mentioned that you're here working with Frequency and yeah. it's a group that, that many folks around here are familiar with and the performance they do. But one other thing that you're doing as part of your visit is working with area high school uh, students who uh, have no experience in vocal gas, jazz. Yeah. Frequency is an established group and you've mentioned how, how great they are at it. but. Working with high school kids who have no experience in high school jazz, is this something that you're used to? Is it something that you've done before? It is something we're used to. Uh, it really, when we give clinics and workshops with vocal jazz groups, we, we'll hear all spectrums from uh, ensembles that are really coming in as classical groups that do one jazz tune that year. Uh, and we try to give them really the fundamentals of what it is to be a vocal jazz group. Talk about basic improvisation, which is a part of what we do. Talk about the, we talk about the different ways that we form vowels and consonants and uh, utilize the microphones and sound systems. Some of that's completely new to folks and we expect to see that perhaps uh, tomorrow with some of the groups. Um, and we're really welcoming of that because really happy to, to see vocal jazz I expanding and, and more folks having that opportunity. We think it's a really relevant art form to be participating in because it relates uh, so much to a, a, a broad range of what people actually do, uh, you know, in popular culture. Um, you know, it, it relates to pop music and rock and studio singing um, and gives skills for all areas of professional singing. Um, in, in addition to vocal jazz itself. And of course, the, the potential, as, as Julie mentioned, of hearing that, that maybe that diamond of the rough that, that yeah. you may hear exactly. come out of these groups. It's one of my favorite things to do is work with a group that's relatively new to jazz. It reminds me to remind them that I was where they were at their age. I hadn't heard jazz before and it was 
a little bit intimidating and challenging, but so rewarding. Mm -hmm. So we like to encourage them in that way too. Encourage them. And, and here's hoping that uh, you might get the chance to open some eyes uh, to some vocal jazz that may not have had experience with it and maybe uh, start a career path following in y'all's footsteps as a, a part of the vocal jazz movement here in the United States. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your trip uh, here at Troy. Thank you so Thanks much for having us. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.